Congressman Kayleigh McEnany is now tweeting that that the National Guard and and federal agents are en route to the Capitol. Federal police are en route to the Capitol. Uh, and at the same time, we've not heard from the president. If he won't stand up, Congressman, should he stand down? Is it time for this president whom you've just said brought this on our nation to step down and let us move forward? And if well, not, why not? The president bears part of the responsibility for the heated rhetoric that's caused uh, this afternoon's outrageous public behavior, and he needs to uh, take responsibility for that by, as I say... He has not, Congressman, out. with great respect, and I apologize for interrupting in the middle of a satellite delay, but he has not taken responsibility. For two hours, the Capitol has been under siege and occupied by people, and we have not heard from him. If he will not stand up and say stop, should he step down and let us move on? Yes or no, Congressman? Well, he's going to be stepping down at noon on January 20th, and he will bear this responsibility. I meant today, on his record. the day, the day that the Capitol was taken under siege by the people and occupied, and we have not heard from the president for two hours. If he can't stand up, Congressman, should he stand down today? Yes or no? He needs to stand up and he needs to speak out now. But he has not, Congressman. As a Republican who had to leave that, those hallowed halls today, who is not being able to do work because our capital is under siege, do you have the courage and wherewithal to say, if the president will not stand up before this mob, should he stand down? Well, Shep, that's not a decision I get to make. I agree with you that he bears this responsibility, and I call on him to take action in that regard. Let's see what he does, and whether it's been two hours with respect, or 20 minutes. This has been the language of conservative Republicans throughout this administration, through more than 25,000 documented lies by the Washington Post, the Republicans have said, this is not my responsibility. Some have said he should do this. Many have gone along with him. Well, here we are today, Congressman, with great respect, and thank you for taking the questions. Here we are today as literally the, the Capitol Hill has been overtaken by the people. We ha the president has had many hours to say, stop it. He has not. Would you like to have a president who would say stop it? And why does he still deserve to be our president if he's allowing this without so much as lifting a finger? Well, he does uh, bear that responsibility. He should speak out. I'm glad he's authorized the National Guard use. That's uh, overdue. That should have been done immediately. I don't know that he's the one who authorized that. But be that as it may, it's just such a sad day, Congressman. I, I'm not coming to this from a political point. I'm, I'm coming it, to it from the, report, the point of a journalist who has watched coups take place in, in Haiti, who has watched federal buildings overtaken in, in Haiti and in, in the Middle East and elsewhere, and have thought how wonderful it will be to get back to the country where there is order, where there is a peaceful transfer of power, where I understand that democracy is not pretty. It, it is always messy, but it is the best system in all the world. And to see it overtaken today is astounding and without precedent. But then to see us have no leader to step forward and even say, please stop, it is beyond to the, and to the exclusion of all reason. It, it's outside of anything I've ever thought possible. I've never even contemplated such a thing. Have you, sir? Well, I haven't seen it in my lifetime in America, but I've certainly seen it in my travels. The last time I saw a parliament building stormed was in Sofia, Bulgaria, back when the Berlin Wall fell. I never thought I would see it in the United States, whether in a state capital or a U.S. capital. So for me, it's a heartbreaking day, and it needs to stop, and the president needs to be the first to help make it stop. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.